Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the arena, the Magic the Gathering Arena online showcase series. I feel like if you wait until the end of the song, like you wait till the end of the ghost car, that's when that's when the trouble starts. Because that's when you're you're giving the ghost car too much power. It's like Beetlejuice. It's like not saying his name three times. You know what I mean? Anyway, what we're playing here is a deck submitted by good old Sarah C. Long time subscriber, otherwise known as Sarah Demir, Sarav Demir Mastermind. And uh, this deck is pretty fascinating. We have 18 lands. So one, one fewer than the last deck we played. 26 one drops. Monastery Swift Spear. Monastery Swift Spear. Swift Spear. Swift Spear. Uh, lightning bolts, fork bolts, a spell snare, serum visions, terramanders, fantastic, delver of sneakrets. Oh, my mouse just died. It always creeps me out my mouse dies because I always think my computer just crashed. I'm like, oh wow, my literal, my whole computer just froze. But then it's just the mouse dying, and I'm like, okay, thank goodness. Uh, delver of sneakrets, path to smexile, three mana leaks, three snapcasty boys, two boros charms, quattro lightning helices. But here's, you know, see, here's the thing. We're going to have to play the actual green lightning helixes. Hopefully these will be green when we play them. I guess we'll see. I think it might just be the, the, the non-foil ones. But I don't know if there are non-foil ones. These are Johnny ones are also pretty good. Um, we're also going to play good lightning bolts. Sorry, guys. This is, these are fashionable choices that we're making. Uh, I think these are the only paths I have. And then three Skewer the Critics, which are also essentially one drops. So you have about 31 drops, 12 two drops, and 18 lands. I still hope 18 lands is enough. In the sideboard, we got the fourth path. Some Rest in Peace and Stony Silences. Some Timely Reinforcements to gain some life. A Spell Pierce, some Negates. Anger of the Gods, which is ambitious, because I don't know how we're going to get to three mana with this deck. A Dovin Bond, which is ambitious, because I don't know how we're going to get to three mana with this deck. And then a Wear Tear. So let's see what happens first and foremost. I'm sure we'll play against a bunch of Scape Shift because people love casting Scape Shift. And uh, we'll go from there. Scape shift is the butts. More like scape butts. Okay, well, I don't know if those two comments were related or not, but uh, th that's pretty funny if it's not. 18 land is fine. Okay, well, what do you need me for then? What do you need me for? I'll just go. If this is how you're going to be. I'm just kidding. I'll stay. I thought scape shift was cool. No one thought that. Come on, everybody. You all, everybody. You guys remember that? That was from Lost. Anybody want to join this modern queue with me? Oh, Sandman Ness. Oh, see, look at this. 18 lands is fine, she says. 18 lands is fine, she says. All right, this, this hand is better. It's better, but we still want some dudes. I'll keep that. I hope you play another one drop and we can just fork bolt this dude out of a out of the out of his life. Wait. Why didn't they play this first? If they play the, oh cuz they couldn't cuz they didn't have three artifacts at that time. That's that's pretty funny. Oh, a Delver and we can just put both of these on top to make sure we flip it. Uh, yes, please. 
You all, everybody. Oh, oh boy. Well, this is awkward. Can I top deck our braid? Our, our. Oh, that's that was a different. That was a different deck, guys. That was a different deck. Oh boy, so if we even try to kill this, they just sacrifice it to make a token and then they put the sword on the token. Yeah, this is pretty bad. I think we've lost already. I don't want to be a negative Nancy, guys, but I think we're dead. Just burn them out. Well, what th I mean, if this didn't gain you a life every single time you activated, I think we'd have a lot better chance of that. So they sack this guy in response. They put the sword on it. Yeah, it doesn't seem good to just fork bolt here for no reason. Yeah, Sword of the Meek was banned for a while, but then it wasn't banned. It hasn't been banned for a while. <whistles> Sacrifice an artifact. Target player puts the top three cards there. What's happening right now? This is all very confusing. I guess we can we just kill you this turn. Yeah, we're done here. We are done here. I'm not no sir, I don't like it. I'm going to bring in this guy, and I'm going to bring in Arrest in Pieces, and Stony Silences, and we're going to take out the Path to Exiles, and we're going to take out the Forked Bolts, maybe bring in the Gates, maybe, Spell Snare seems like a gas, uh, we can take out two Helixes, one Skewer, uh, we'll bring in Spell Pierce, Negate. I like that. Negate seems better than Link. I agree with that. Rest in Peace and Cinema Sounds also seem OP. I brought in Negates once. It was wild. <laughs> it sounds... God, what an adventure, man. That sounds crazy. You're a maniac. I brought in Megates once. It was all right. That's pretty funny. Okay. <laughs> it was all right. Uh, there's a couple, there's a couple tiers at Mana Traders. Uh, if you guys were interested in subscriptions uh, to rent either physical paper decks or even digital cards on Magic Online, you can definitely check out mandatraders.com slash, no, there's no slash. Just use the link in my description along with the promo code. And um, you can check out the, you get 20% off the first three months with that, with that promo code. Oh, biscuits. Not going to keep that. Nope. Don't like that. I like this a lot better. All we need is a white source. Play this. Oh. Oh. 
I'm gonna bottom you and I'll top you. Spell Pierce seems pretty good here. Whoa, counter swell? That's like a negate. That's like a that's like a high tier. That's like a classy negate. Negate is like mayonnaise, and then counter squall is like that mayonnaise that's like made with olive oil, and you're like, oh dang. I can't even. Oh, look at all these lands. Holy. I'm just gonna put both of these on the bottom. I don't need a fourth land. Come on. What am I? What am I, an aristocrat over here? I'm feeling really down on the game right now, so how this stick does me determine whether or not I even play Magic again? No pressure. It's a McDouble and a Junior Chicken. What's a Junior Chicken? I've heard of a regular chicken, but not a junior chicken. Actually, they have nothing on board. Maybe we should have snapped and then serum visioned, but I wanted to keep up spell pierce here. Wow, this guy really... I don't know how to beat this deck. Like, this deck is really kind of weird. How many snaps do we have in here? Four, right? We got Quattro Snapperinos. Three? Okay, that's good. Oh, man. This dude is bad news. This guy's bad news bears. I mean, if they attack with Psy, I'm actually probably going to throw in two Snapcaster Mages in front. Yikes. Manager and Enforceville, those are just Iolis. Those are lots of like a garlic Ioli. Those aren't even in the Mayo camp. What's even happening right now? What are you convoking? You not convoking? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What is even happening right now? Sly Requisitioner. You're just casting this. A non-token artifact you control is put in a graveyard. Oh my god. This is probably the best use of Snapcaster we're going to get. Oh, Terramander is also bad. So Rest in Peace feels like a non-bow with a lot of the cards in our deck. Terramander is pretty bad with. Snapcaster is pretty bad with. Um, so I think we'd rather have um, like Surgical Extraction or something, especially something that can be snapped back pretty easily. 
Because we're actually never going to be able to evolve this Terramander, unfortunately. Right, but you're not going to have enough to board in all board out all seven of those guys. Like it's just you're diluting. I think you're diluting your th your your. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, we have no way to beat this, unfortunately. Right, that's a lot to board out. We don't have enough to board in. I'd rather just have a card that's more efficient to to not counter our entire plan, unfortunately. Yeah, this is pretty brutal. Like, we have to, like, draw wear tear in, like, one turn. God, he's so loud, dude. Uh, double strike until end of turn. I also have no idea what this deck is. I mean, they're playing Grinding Station, and that's pretty crazy to me. That's a pretty wacky... Oh, that would have been good, like, a thousand turns ago, unfortunately. Four Rest in Peace and Four Stony Silence is actually not a terrible way to go in Modern, to be quite honest with you. The the Kaya deck that Terra submitted a while back was pretty sweet. And it had, uh... It had Rest in Peace in the main deck, and it actually was rarely... It was infrequently bad. Another way to say that is it was frequently good. Yeah, scoop is incoming. I just don't want to like, I don't want to preemptively concede because. Oh, scrap trawler, a card I can't actually counter. You got it. No, you can't have this, okay? I scooped the second I stopped having fun, so I don't see a lot of turn twos. Oh, Lord. Yep. Wear tear. This could be a wear tear, guys. It is not a wear tear. So we can put them to 13. Yeah, I don't think that's good. We take five, six, seven, eight, nine. We go to two. Yeah, we're just gonna go to we're just gonna scoop down. This this deck is not. Alright. So I'm gonna take out the rips. Don't get me wrong, I think rip's a good card. I just think Surgical is better for us, because we are also taking advantage of the Graveyard. Like, if our opponent would probably bring in Rip against us with, with Terramanders and Snapcasters, then Rip is probably not our best option. Um, I'm iffy on Forked Bolt. I kind of want, like, Goblin Guides. What are our one drop? Four Delver, four Terramander, four Monastery Swift Spear. All right. Sarah, stop! It's okay, we got this. We got this. We're playing against Prosfessor. This seems keepable. I'm joking mostly. Okay, good. Woo! That was a lot of pressure. All right. A 
opponent's name makes me viscerally uncomfortable. What is this, Quest for the Holy Relic? What? Sam and Ness, good games. Your deck, I had no idea what you were doing. I have not seen that deck yet, so. Uh, I'm going to put both these on the bottom. We already have one of these jobbies. Yeah, we're gonna, they're gonna Argentum armor for sure. It's okay, we're gonna kill all their creatures, right? 100%. 100% kill them all. Well, that's, that's problematic. Um, I kind of just want to keep all these things up. When you cast a creature spell, you may put a quest counter on this. It has to, how many, how many does it need? Five? Yeah, I was playing, and I was like, I have no idea what this deck is doing. The grinding station was really, I was like, what? All right, whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield, are you just casting another one of these? Yeah, I'm not thrilled about that. It's whenever you cast a creature spell. Whenever you cast a non-token creature. Oh, it's whenever, oh, 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 oh. It's whenever it enters the battlefield, we just let this go and then we can just play like... <laughs> oh, Jesus, I'm laughing out loud at Dog Fart McCat Puke. That's the best name I've ever seen. Yeah, this is fine. It enters the battlefield, so I'm not super concerned. Like, I can just counter their creatures. It's not a, it's not a cast trigger, so I worked hard on it. I can tell. I can tell, my dude. Nope, don't want to do that. Let's cast this guy. Make a bunch of turtlebergs. Because now we just have four power on the board. Thank you. Plus six. And we can play Terramander here. Oh, I'm just going to attack with the one dude because that's all I cast. Third Tail, thank you so much for the, re for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. Really appreciate it. You like how I have all these extra dudes and I'm like, I don't even need to attack with these guys. Large Brandon, glad to hear it, buddy. I enjoyed it as well. I'm gonna take advantage of all your Genesis chambers. Uh Genesis Chamber if you wanna if you wanna get fancy about it. Let's go get a Sacred Foundry. We got one of them? Yeah, we do. No, sir. Don't even try that. Don't even try. Unless you want to manatize me. God, I'd be so impressed if you manatized me there. So they should theoretically be at 14. All right. So if they end up winning the game at two life, I'm going to be real sad. But they might just be dead here, right? nine I mean they're technically dead we just have to untap first but I kind of just want to keep two burn spells up just in case they do some shenanigans I don't think they're going to A counter. Can't counter this one. I guess we'll just deal with it. Now they bounce a land. Alright, they're getting some Tokies. Some Toki boys. Then they replay the land. They could just bounce itself. Does it just bounce itself? Oh, they bounce the land. Yeah, they replay the land. Sure. Bounce the land. Replay the land. Make two mirrors. Nothing but net. So, just to be clear, we can go 
Lightning Helix, your face, red, white. And then bolt your face. Then you're dead. Good games. Very dead. You're dead. Okay. Wear Tear definitely coming in. Sony Silence doesn't seem to do much. Negate seems, again, better than one mana leak, I would say. Spell Snare still seems good. Maybe it's better than both mana leaks. Ah, uh, mana leaks good. They don't have a ton of mana. Take out one path, take out one forked bolt, I guess. I actually like forked bolt better than skewer the critics here, I think. Because they're getting one one, so I'd rather just kill two of their one ones. This is actually fine. Super Fritz. Have fun at work. Try to anyway. Give it give it the old college try. I have to check something on the internet. Alright. Well, we are not keeping up mountain. Fascinating. That red mage ending. Yeah, you're right. I have three burn spells in my hand. How do you deal with that? Oof. You don't. Impact tremors. Mm, fascinating. Fascinating. A fascinating specimen. Oh, this guy, eh? Well, that's pretty good, but we, we have Forked Bolt. We can just kill him. Well, I'm checking out recent. Okay, I'll check that in a second. Skewer the critics. Let's just kill this guy now. Play Fuller's Strand, keep it up for uh, negate. Cloud key. Choose artifact. They're going to choose creature, maybe. This is fine because we have wear tear in hand. So I can just be like. <coughs> it is creature. So now we're just going to wear and a tear. Uh, let's get a steam vents, I believe. Swift Spear seems good. Play this untapped. Play Swift Spear. With Bear Care? Well, I'm surprised you didn't go with Care Bear. That seems interesting, right?
I kind of want to kill this now, even though it does. But then we're like missing the point. Like we're missing the point of damage. But like, I don't really want to let them untap and give them cheap guys. They have two cards in hand, so I'm not super concerned with it. All right, still two cards in hand. Core Skyfisher. Choose. Yeah, they're just gonna do it now. Gives them a discount, but now they have to return a land, which they probably would have done anyway, but... You're missing the point of damage. That's a good point. That's a good point of damage. Oh, we just win that game. I guess wear tear on two of their combo pieces is good enough for good enough for government work. Let's do another one. Let's keep going. I didn't really see any... Uh, I didn't really see any issues with that previous... Like, the deck, the deck seems fine at this point. Like, I'm not really... Nothing stands out to me as like, oh no, this shouldn't be here. Casting spell second main makes Taylor set. Who, who's Taylor? Me, Taylor. That's from uh, it's from Planet of the Apes. In case you guys didn't know. I don't want either of these. I got three lands in hand, my dude. Why isn't the deck Sultai yet? We're getting there. We're getting there, Sarah. It's gonna take time. Oh, we have nine damage in hand, which is nice. Oh, Taylor Swift Spear. Nice. I actually didn't. I, I knew, I'm familiar with that reference. I just didn't think about it at the time. I almost want to take out one of the paths to put like more burn in here. Is that weird? God, who even who even am I? I mean, snapping back like a another like a lava spike or something is still pretty fine. I think it's definitely not as versatile though. Let's get a hollowed fountain. Me, Taylor. Okay. They're gonna path this guy, faux show. I'll probably mana leak a path. Delver's a solid threat. Island Plains is fascinating. I want a second. I just want to get a sacred foundry here. I'll pay the mana. All right, here we go. Oh, wow. Holy smokes. The rich get richer, boys. I'm probably going to snap serum visions here unless we hit a land. We did. I still kind of like Snap Serum Visions. I almost like Opt better than Serum Visions here because it lets us play Snapcaster at the end of the turn and still get Serum Vision value. But for now we're just going to Bolt. And Lightning Helix. Yeah, these paths are not doing us any favors here. Yep. Let's get an island. <clears throat> Joke's on you. It's our only basic left, my dude. Now we can get rid of this. Mm, ghost quarter. 
Well, they now have cryptic command mana. Just unfortunate for everyone involved. Logic not for four. Fascinating. One, two, three, four. So we can actually make this dude real fat. All right, well. Fingers crossed they don't have an answer for a 5-5. Five five. We don't have any ways to really respond to any answer they have, so. Well, they have, they found one. Yeah, even if we held up mana, they still could have done this, so. I will search and fail to find. The land in our 18 land deck. And now they're going to draw four. Pretty brutal. Yep, that's where that's where I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a day. All right, so we're gonna take out the three paths that were pretty rough. Bring in three counter spells. Don't care about timely or surgical or stony. Dovin could be interesting here. Probably better than one of the fork bolts. All right, let's see how this goes. This is a Dovin match. Please bring him in. Well, that's what I did. He's see actually what I'm testing. What does that even mean? I like that you're like, I'm gonna put one Dovin in there. We'll see how he does. I'm gonna keep this because of the serum serum visions. But we're probably gonna lead off with a Delvey boy. Oh Delvey boy.
Come on, let's see it. Spire Bluff? No, nah, I'm good. Thanks, though. Oh. Um, I'll actually keep both. Hey, it's little Terry. I'm hoping they don't have a terminus right on the top. Oh, they can't. They they don't they don't have that. They don't have that. That's rude. Well, I'm not going to not search here. I don't think Manly can delve around the top for that big of a deal. Unless we hit a land here. Hey, it's another Delvey boy. Hum, 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 hum. It's okay, man. We're just going to hit them with with one damage at a time. Uh, hollowed Fountain? No. I will also crack this and go get the Hollowed Fountain. Man, we had I thought we had a meme about lands up in this deck, but <clears throat> four, five, six, seven. Fascinating. All right, so now we're actually going to double strike. Uh, oh, it's a target creature. Yeah, might as well be permanence then. I'm just going to play this because if we draw something, we have four spells. So if we draw a one mana spell, like we can cast that and activate Terramander. No, oh, well, they're not going to let us do that. Well, I'm going to path your little Terry. Terry, no! Come on, flip it. Flip it. No, I'm good. But you know what? Terry's back. I wish that on on the evolve cards, like an, an arena, like when you evolve them, they get bigger, like the the art changes to something larger. But I could see how that wouldn't be ideal because then you'd have to get used to two different arts and a lot of like there's no text on the cards, so you're like, oh, what happened to Shamble Shark? It's a different art now. <laughs> what I say, evolve, adapt, whatever. Oh my god, I hate you. I hate you. I don't. I don't hate you. You're all right. You're going to bounce Terramander? You kind of have to, right? Typical. That's just rude. There's so many cards we can draw here that actually put us in a great position. Steam Vents is not it. This is nine lands. We have nine lands left in our deck. This is half the lands in our deck. That's pretty ridiculous because now they get to like activate Jace. Any burn spell, any counter spell lets us kill Jace. Like any spell lets us do all the things. And, uh, yep, it's pretty rough.
right, well. Now they're just gonna they're just gonna hard cast her. Oh, foo -foo. <sighs> fail to find. Why did they keep up? Why did they put the hollow fountain in play untapped? I wonder. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind drawing terramanders, but. I would really like to get the Jace off the board because they're just going to be able to find an answer for every single... They're just going to cryptic command this. You still don't have to play the Hollowed Fountain untapped. You have three blue. Yeah, very strange. Oh, logic not for six. So they could have done it for up to eight, so it doesn't really matter that they... Yeah, I feel like our luck has been pretty bad. I almost feel like instead of path, we want like something like dive down. It's interesting. That's fascinating because, like, we're at a point where, like, I'm just going to play this now because it limits the amount of mana and cards they have. Pfft. Give me a break. Flash, knock yourself out. Feel free to toss it in the chat. Sure, you got it. Let's see what this... <laughs> oh my god, dude. Not, not okay. Not okay. Jesus. Wow. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I'm done I'm absolutely done well lucky you took the Terramander from my hand It was not, but I still enjoyed it. Oh, look, they're gonna... They put it on the bottom, so we could hit anything now. Here we go. This is gonna do it. Oh, didn't do it. I will concede the game. Okay, so. Alright. Hold on. What are we doing here? Um. Hmm. I want more ways to draw cards. I feel like we don't have a ton of, like, ways to churn through our deck. I'm going to take out one of the paths. I'm also going to take out maybe the Boros Charms. Actually, maybe the Fork Bolts. I think Fork Bolts is worse than... What do burn decks have? Is there anybody? Is there any other good one mana red spell? Like we don't have like any sort anything similar to chain lightning, right? Oh, uh, we already have three four skill critics. 
Yeah, we drew half our lands in a 19 land, an 18 land deck. <laughs> Not even 19 lands. Opt is fine. I'm just hoping for like card advantage where I can actually draw cards instead of just like. But also Ops fuel, um, they fuel Terramander as well, which is super nice. What about Charter Course? Is Charter Course good enough here? So here's a funny here's a funny thing that just happened. Um, I had someone make an offer. I have a comic listed on eBay for seventy five, and they made an offer at sixty. And I was like, all right, I'll make an offer at seventy. And then they came back at sixty five, and then I made an offer at sixty eight, and then they made an offer at sixty seven. And I was like, come on. So I made an offer at sixty nine, and then they made an offer at sixty eight. And I was like, okay. <laughs> uh, I actually kind of like Remand as well. Because it gets you through your deck, and that's what you're trying to do. Um, I wonder if, like, one chart of courses is interesting instead of, like, one opt. Let's try it like this. Thank you. Oh, Flash with the sub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. <laughs> After that meme, I feel like we're I feel like we're good. All right, I'm going to jump in this queue. Give me one second. I'm going to go run and do something real quick. I'm not going to go anywhere, but I just have to check on a thing. I'll be, I'll be right back. Oh man, we didn't even uh didn't even fire. Oh wow, perfect timing. Now it did. Good times. I will play first. Oh, light up the stage would be good. That's what we're talking about. Emerson, good good call. Good call. Either way, this hand looks great though. Yeah, I like Light Up the Stage a lot, actually. I actually thought about that before we even started playing, and then I just forgot. Yeah, let's change that, actually. And take out the chart. I don't even know if I have any light up the stage. Oh, I have four. I'm good at this game. Look at all these matches. Oh, just accidentally open that. Close that. All right. What do we got here? What's it going to be, Delver? Opt? already paying off thank you tireless tractor thank you so much for the reset buddy really appreciate it still a great name still a great name this dude's dead oh man he's not dead jay spencer don't mess him 
don't don't mess with me. Don't mess with my emotions, my dude. I want to play this now because I want to hit a land. That's not a land. That's a land. No. All right. And yet you never draft me. There's no tractors in the cube. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm getting real tired of my guys getting killed. Getting real tired of it. Real tired of it. I mean, we have 12 damage in hand, which is nice. Some printings of Juggernaut look a little tractory. I guess that's true. I guess that's true. Is that a Juggernaut? No, it's a tractor. Oh, Rabble Master. Well, I wish I had done this sooner, but... Okay, come on. There we go. Sad days. For sure. Um... Yeah, so we can attack. One, two, three. This guy's not flipping yet. We're definitely going to skewer their face. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have ten damage in hand. Just a good amount. This gonna be another rabble master. Rabble, rabble. <laughs> oh, ritual. Oh Jesus. I'm gonna. Oh God. I'm spell piercing this for sure. Spell snaring this for sure. That's three, four, five. They might just sort of try to throw the breaches here, which is pretty terrifying. One, two, three, four. Not there yet. Path to exile. All right, well. That could be good. Kaladesh something tractor. Vehicle, obviously. When equipped, fetch a land. Not bad. Here we go. Through the breach, Emrakul. Ensnaring bridge. Okay. I guess it's just the, the prison deck. So actually, one thing we can do here is... Boros charm their face. And if we hit a land, we have one, two, three, four, five. We can flip this guy. Flip. <laughs> if we hit a land, we can flip him. We didn't hit a land. That's sad. I mean, we can still sneak in, and then we have six here. Well, if they can lose their... Well, now we don't have to worry about Emrakul. God, I got real scared about Through the Breach Emrakul. Shandy. Okay. Are you going to kill my Terramander? Wow, that's rude. Yeah, I think we're going to path this. Just to hit a land.
Let's get, we have double red, let's get an island. I feel like we're real close here, guys. Definitely gonna bolt your face. Come on, one time. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, this is sad. So as long as we untap and they don't gain life. We're just going face here. Heavy breathing. All right, they are at three. Don't you? They're playing red. They can't gain life, right? Oh, on one. Beautiful. Beautiful. Next, all the top card. It's in a braid. They're probably gonna kill this guy, and then we're just gonna lightning helix their brain, unless they have another chalice on two, which would be amazing. They do not. All right, we're just gonna helix their friggin' brain. This is a deck where Chalice on one is pretty brutal against us. We probably want something like a Braid in the sideboard, actually. Rebel, Rebel, zoom, zoom, zoom. That cost two. All right, wear tear. Sunny silence isn't great. Spell pierce is probably pretty good. Negate's probably pretty good. I think this is definitely where we take out the remands because you know, maybe Dovin's good here. Let's bring in a Dovin. See how that works. Path also pretty bad. All right, I'm okay with this. I mean, it gives us like 12 main deck ways, not even including, uh... Definitely keep this hand. Sneak so Spirit Guide into Ritual into Blood Moon. And this is why Blood Moon is on my list of top six magic villains. Like our white cards are literally, we can't actually cast our white cards at this point because we have no mount, no basic planes in the deck. Definitely did not say top six magic wins. Despite how awkwardly accurate it, that sounds right now. Yeah, we're just going to go to the next game. Like, I, I mean, like, we don't have any really way to 
Like, we'd have to draw, like, Monastery Swift Spear into attack a bunch of time. Like, it's just not worth the time that it's going to take to... Well, now we know to get Islands. Yeah, like, we have 8 cards, 12 cards in our deck that we can actually play. Outside of drawing a basic Island. I will play first. Well, this is kind of the opposite of what we're looking for but I think it's fine like we want the, we want an island and like a red dual land instead but more like butt moon butt moon is right dude Y'all got any more of them butt moons? Blood butt? That's worse. That's worse. Y'all got any more of them blood butts? No. Bad. Do me a favor and do your job and flip. Okay, we did it. I don't think they can win now. I think they're dead. I had a case of the blood button in 1937. Dang, Grandma, that's too much information. Unbelievable. Grandma, nobody needs to know all that. Uh, none of these cards we have to play on our turn, so we can just pass. Look at that one. Is it Hannah Simeon Spirit Kind? Sean Shandy. Shandy McMandy. No, well, can't counter that. I have a feeling you're just going to kill our Delver of Sneakrits. You actually gain two, you go to 13, but then you go to take six, you go to seven. This guy deals one. Yeah, I can't do anything about that. I do actually want this, which is kind of awkward, but I guess it's fine. I love, the nice thing about playing decks like this is that burn spells are just good when they go to the face. You're just like, alright, I'll just hit you in the face. I have no issue with hitting them in the face. Probably going to go get an island here for also obvious reasons. It's their face. That's true. It's true. What if they're wearing glasses? Should have taken them off, nerd. This deals two, this deals two, so they put them to five. That's one, two, three, four, five, and then we can flip our guy if we had the mana for it. I wish they'd play a two mana spell here. I want to snare something. Can you just let me snare all the things? Abrade this guy. Abrade him right now. Yes. Yes! <laughs> That's exactly what we wanted. Oh. Yes. I'm about to bust. Ribbit, ribbit, biatch!
Oh, well. well isn't that unfortunate? Spell Pierce counters everything they have, and we can just get to. So even with these two and the one red spell. Oh, wow, that was a nine. That was tough. Now we need another card. Whatever this is, it's going in the trash can. Blood Moon? If we had one more red mana, we'd actually be in great shape here. Because then we can respawn and kill them. I mean, said we're just going to counter the Blood Moon. How about a wear tear? I don't want to let it resolve because it shuts off a lot of our outs, which are two Lightning Helixes, two Boros Charms. Goblin or Rabble Master? You have two cards in hand? So if Delver flips, that's eh, rough. God, I'm surprised this Dragon's Claw is doing as much work as it's doing. This guy can't attack. This has to go face here, right? And if we draw any other burn spell, we get to kill them. No, we don't. No, they get to go to four. Ugh. Uh, no, no flips here. Actually, both of these are good. All right. Um, this game has just gotten significantly more grindy. No attacks. Play the Tarn. I'm playing the Tarn because if they do play Blood Moon, if they just draw and play another Blood Moon, then we get to actually uh, play another land off of whatever we draw if we draw another land. We're not going to. We're going to draw Serum Visions. Yeah. And then we're going to draw Charter Course. Wow. Aggressive. Wow, this game felt like it was really over until they windmill slam there in Snaring Bridge. Yeah, we're definitely flipping Delver now. Uh, we want to draw the chart, of course. We also want to draw Boros Charm. If we chart a course, we're going to have to discard Boros Charm or the other one. Yep, that's pretty good. I 
Wow, this game just totally got away from us. That's insane. I'm extremely frustrated right now. So we draw s Oh, I thought we were drawing serum visions. Dang it. Um, I think we're still going to have to chart a course here. Sure. Whatever. Hmm. Let's see if we can attack underneath and then Boros charm their face. They go to eight, but then they take five, six, seven, eight, nine. And they have one card in hand. It's possible that this wins us the game, but. I mean, they could also easily dump their hand somehow, so. Yep, and of course they have enough to Perforos. <laughs> oh, God. What an absolute piece of shit. Oh, fantastic. Is there, like, anything we could even draw here? Like, this is insane, dude. Yes, I already mentioned getting the island so the steam vents was a mistake. We already covered that. Doesn't really have to be emphasized here. So they just draw one card and then they attack with like all their 1-1s. One and we're going to be at 8. And then they can just pump their team. I mean, we're terrible would probably win last turn, but not this turn, I don't think. I think we're probably a little too far uh, removed. We also don't have the ability to counter Blood Moon if they just happen to have... Um, if they just happen to have a Simeon Spirit Guide in hand so like I mean I don't know if playing around Blood Moon is really that bad of an idea Wear Tear one time Flooded Strand okay well we had a good run let me guess next card is Wear Tear because that's how it works not gonna Man. I do like one plains over one mountain. I just don't think we need the mountain. All of our lands produce red, but like if they play Blood Moon, like I'd rather have one plains and one island to fetch out. Because it just shuts off eight cards in our deck. Whereas we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen red sources. We have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, it's still close. It's still real close. I almost want more than the one weird tear. Like being able to deal with artifacts is so so essential. Like I also don't I don't love anger because it kills most of our guys too.
Whereas, like, if they play something like, um, whereas if they have something like uh, Ensnaring Bridge, it just totally shuts off our guys, which is unfortunate. Sand seems good. Oh, it's not scape shift. Oh, maybe we want Swift Spear instead. Oh, do they mulligan to four? Yikes. That's a yikes from me, dog. I kind of want both of these. Yeah, that seems fine. Now I'm wishing I played Hall of Town instead, but I, I don't know why. I, I, I'm not used to cracking before I play uh, Serum Visions, which I should be. I should totally be used to that. We're just going to attack for one. Let's see if we hit a land off this guy. Another Monastery Mentor. So we could just play this untapped, crack this. Uh, get our steam vents. Go red for swift spear. And blue for terramander. Modern is the most high frustration, low reward format. That's interesting. I don't know if I can disagree with that. Oh, why don't I attack with this guy? Oh man, I'm just messing up left and right. There's a lot going on in these matches. Uh, 
Uh, that's fine. We have remand. Good. I mean, they're they're getting back in the game. So next card is one, two, three, four, five. Trigger both these dudes. It's it's what you're saying is complicated to explain, but I think I know what you're saying. Like it makes sense. Like like you don't feel like you deserve to win. You feel like your opponent didn't draw like their broken cards. Like their most their most oppressive combos. So you just kind of like stumbled into a win. So it's not like you got you you, you didn't outplay them. You just got luckier than they did in your draws. If that makes sense. Um, take out the paths. Definitely bring in a breeze. Actually, maybe we'll leave in the paths. Like when I beat Scape Shift, it's not because I outplayed them. It's because they didn't. They did. They only drew one Scape Shift, and I had a counter spell for it. You know, like. You're not being rewarded because you played better than them. You're being rewarded because you drew a. Uh, a higher amount of responses to their broken card, their broken one card win, the broken one card win cards, I guess you want to say. Uh, Roman seems pretty bad here. No red sources. We'll keep it because of the Delver, though. It seems good. Well, now we need a red source. Someone just played a gut shot against me. That's pretty brutal. Okay, that's not a red source. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you with that. Like, there's so many cards that are spent just trying to deal with other things. Like, I mean, I have to spend five cards. I got, like, we're main decking. Like, the other deck was main decking Tormod's Crypt, you know? It's just like...
Wow. What is even happening, my dudes? Spell Skite and Master here. That's pretty good. All right, that was pretty good. <laughs> No, let's do the other one. There we go. Thank you. Cobra Laserface, welcome back. Thank you for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Second Lord. Oh, just the Merfolk and Master of Waves. Interesting. And second master. Having one red here is really our choke point. Yep, take seven. Totally reasonable. <laughs> Unfortunate. No, I don't really feel like other formats have that problem. I don't feel like I don't feel like draft is that way. I don't feel like standard is that way. I don't even feel like legacy is that way. Uh, tempted to bring in the wear tear just because they have you, dude. What's his name? Spell Spell Skite. I will keep this hand and hope they don't have gut shot. I guess. Nope, don't reveal that. I'm just gonna take a million damage here. I'm gonna get a steam events. Okay, well, next time we can play land and skewer. Lord of Atlantis. Do you just take two more here and go to 12? Probably. I think it's just significantly better than not playing something on... Oh, yes. Let's light up all the stages. Delver man, take me by the hand. Let's not flip a land. That's pretty good. That was pretty good. So proud. Oh, Bobby Biscuits. Got the vapors after this. That was a sick hit off light up the stage. Light up the stage is a nice ad. Two mana. What happens here? Silvergill. Really Marrow Rajiri. 
We have four cards in the graveyard, so we can actually flip this dude pretty easily. That's... It's going to be a nope for me, dog. So... Yeah, seems fine. Um, actually, no. We play this first. We play this. Yeah, this is good. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We go to two, and then we have Boros Charm in hand. Do you wax a chump like a candle? I mean, I I try to. I I do rock the mock like a vandal, if that's what you're asking. I think we did it. Vanilla ice, ice. I hope they're not saying something derogatory. To the extreme, I rock the bag like a vandal. Out of the stage, I wax a chump like a candle. That's a little vanilla ice, in case you guys didn't know. What you guys know about Vanilla Ice? Nothing. Boom, boom, boom. I love Queen. <laughs> boom, 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 ba da dom dom. I'm curious as to what's happening right now. It's just a two-man queue. We don't have to get all upset about things. We don't have to get all mad. Light up stage. Wax and trump like a vandal. Copy that, Delver. Hmm. That's still lethal, right? If you got a curse catcher, I guess you just put it in any block. I mean, we got Boros Charm, so. Everybody get into red zone. I really like 2-2. Two, two. I feel like we're doing all right. Might be 2-3. I think we played like five matches so far. Where's my account? Where's my game history? Oh my god, really? Just put the new stuff at the top, man. Alright, so I think we started here. Oh one, oh one. Yeah, we're two three right now. Two three. You can probably play one more. Uh I like Light of the Sage, I like Screw the Critics. We have two steam vents and two hollowed fountains. I do think we want more steam vents. We have four scalding tarns and four floods. I'm gonna add one more steam vent. Like you do. Did you just say screw the critics? I would never say that. That's terrible. Yeah, this seems good. We just want to have multiple red sources. Buy my book. Buy my book. That's from the critic, in case you guys didn't know. Buy my beard. <laughs> Oh, just fantastic. Just fantastic.
buy my book. What size are these? Does it not say? A 44. I guess I could just look at my email. A secondary super niche meme board? Wow, that's a lot of meme boards. I will play first. I will keep this hand every single day. God, is this why people play Delver in other formats? Because it's... Is this why people play Delver? Because it's so strong. I love Dr. Katz. Dr. Katz was the best. A bogle. This is awkward. Flood strand? No, we don't have to reveal that. Thank you, though. I'll, I'll trade. I'll make this trade. Yeah, I didn't think so. Keep up a spell snare. Like one of those corn chips that you put on your fingers like claws? No, that's a burgle. God, you don't know anything. Yep, that's a good one. That's, I was just making a joke. What's a buggle? Yep, that's also a good one. I feel like we have uh, our work cut out for us. I don't know how we actually beat this deck. This deck does not seem like a good time. Your stream, wow, that's aggressive. Why you do this to me? I thought we friends. Flood strand again, hmm. Well, that's that's magical. Maybe wear tear is just better on the sideboard than a braid because of this situation. I think it actually is. Now I feel bad. I mean, they both cost two to remove an artifact, and like we shouldn't have, we shouldn't need another way to deal three damage to a creature. Oh dear God, this is a perfectly reasonable thing to do. You know, I think we could actually race this without the spirit link. Maybe. Probably not. Let's just go to the next game. I can't. We can't. I can't. We can't. They can't. No one can. Yeah. Okay. So, Spell Pierce definitely comes in. The gates definitely come in. This comes in. No, no. Paths can pretty much leave. I don't love remand here because all their stuff costs like one mana. Yeah, let's try it like this. Yeah, I definitely wish we had more wear tears. And it's funny because I'm the one who's always like, man, just at, just make sure you have enchantment removal in the sideboard. From Bogle to Brogle in an aura story. Actually, it's definitely Boggle. And you can tell it's Boggle. I hate that I call it Bogle because I hear people call it Bogle. But if you look at the text on the new one, right? Let's look at the new Bogle. Boggle. Ogle the Boggle or Goggle the Boggle. Ogle? 
O G L E. That's ogle, right? I like to ogle something. Ogle. 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 So it's it's rhyming. Ogle the boggle, not ogle the bogle. It's definitely not ogle. Ogle's not a word. Ogle. It's ogle. It's ogle the bogle. Ogle the ogle. No, it's ogle. Ogle. Yes. You guys are confusing me. It's ogle the boggle. Ogle. I think our match is up. We're probably just... Nope, it's not up yet. Wow. You can't pronounce it either way, though, because the second word is not talking about the creature. The second word is boggle, B-O-G-G-L-E. This is not a boggle. It's not It's not spelled the same. It's, they're two different words. They're only referring to the creature with the first word, as far as I can tell. Otherwise, they would have just spelled it the same in both ways. Ogle, ogle the bogle, or... Ogle, ogle the boggle or go goggle the bo it's it's goggle this isn't google the boogle boggle bo oh fucking god damn, I'm done I'm done I'm absolutely done I broke my brain <laughs> I hate it not gonna work here anymore that's for sure Boggles and boogles and buggles and bagels and ogles and oogles. I'm basically dead. I feel very stroke-like at the moment, yes. Okay, well, here we go again. F fly on over, my dude. Let's light up the stage. And wax a chump like a candle. I will keep this up. This is nice because next time we can go Snapcast or light up the stage again. I believe. It's Pataraminder. I don't think that's true. I think you're lying. I think you're lying. Charlie bit me. Dang it. Why can't they just play a two mana spell? Is that so hard? I'm a people person. I don't think we can beat this deck. My biggest criticism with the deck so far, um, I like it. I just, I worry that it's not, it's not a focused enough burn deck and it's not a focused enough control deck. It's kind of like really right in the middle. So we're having trouble against these really focused decks like prison decks or, or boggles um, because we're not able to like burn them out fast enough, but we don't have enough controlling parts toward the end of the game uh, that we're trying to survive until, if that makes sense. Do 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 do
Wait. You may cast the spell for its spectral cost rather than its mana cost if an opponent lost. Why can't I do this? I really can't do this? This is not a thing I can do? Oh, wonderful. I mean, we still probably play the Snapcaster anyway, but that's kind of frustrating. I guess Spectacle 1 is an alternate cost. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. Hey, that's pretty good. I'm only saying it's pretty good because you just lost our spell snare, but I'm still going to kill this. Goodbye. Wild Ocean. Oh, yeah, I'm actually thinking like, I, I'm thinking more like Torrential Gearhulk where it's like, Oh, it has reach now. Hmm. Should we give this double strike and then we actually just... It's, like it's, it's still two for one. It's pretty bad. Whatever. We're just going to give Indestructible this turn. I don't love it, but... I forgot about the reach. This, this, I mean, this match is pretty, pretty tilting. Uh, it's a two for one for sure. I mean, if we hit a land, we can also just pump this guy up and make it a lot a lot more threatening but I don't know what their hand is four cards of oh, that's pretty frustrating yeah another situation where another wear tear would be great I think wear tears are the way to go terrible not but terrible Spider Umber is pretty obnoxious. That's worse. Aggressive. Two, three, four, five, six. I mean, ideally we hit like Lightning Bolt or another another spell we can cast. <laughs> Steam vents. Ugh, it just feels so bad every time. I mean, it's the difference between 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and killing them. And just dealing 4 damage. I mean, they probably have a path here, though, I would assume. Mm. 
Yep. It still puts them to eight for all the good that does. I have no reason to hold this. I mean, if we draw another Boros Charm, or if these guys are able to get through somehow, or now a Lightning Bolt and a Screw of the Critics will also do the job unless they have a Daybreak Coronet. Yeah. There's nothing we can draw that actually gets us out of the situation. They gain nine. They go to a million life. They had to have not a lifelink card, so. Yeah, we draw a Delver. Okay. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I love what this deck's trying to do. I just don't know if we're there yet. Um, there's a lot of graveyard hate, so it kind of shuts off Terramander and Snapcaster. Um, Don't get tilted over this match. It's just a bad matchup. Yeah, but my problem the problem is like when when a deck has a few bad matchups, you're just kind of like it's discouraging. Um, I do think you want more copies of ways to destroy enchantments for that reason, uh, and similarly artifacts as well. Um, for 18 lands, I feel like we drew a lot of lands, but either way, Sarah, thank you so much for letting me test this out. I really appreciate it every time. Um, I always, always appreciate your support. If you guys want to have your own decks critique, you can definitely check out the information on my Patreon page or my Twitch profile. Both of the links are in the description below, along with the deck list itself. And be sure to check out uh, manatraders.com. You will get 20% off the first three months of your subscription. If you go down and use the link and the promo code in my description, you can also use Frank5 at Cool Stuff Inc. and get 5% off your purchase. And you can go to meundies.com slash franklapore and get 15% off uh, your purchase, along with free shipping and free returns. So definitely check all those things out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I will see you next time.